Hey friends, Angela here. I'm in the podcast studio today and we have a cigar review. Here's what I have. This is the new Bay City uh, put out by Lovely Cigars. So this, I just got my hands on a couple of these. They just, I know at uh, PCA 2024, they're going to launch these very soon. So uh, I was lucky enough to get my hands on some and I'm going to do a review. So I was able to already smoke a few. So, you know, to because, you know, to do a proper review for me, I don't just smoke it once and then get some flavor notes. I have to be already at least on the third stick to kind of really get those full flavor notes. Because sometimes, you know, you got to kind of smoke it and smoke it again to kind of see if uh, what you thought the first time was was what you thought again right so i already uh did try this i'm going i'm going to open this one and we're going to do a review so here's what we're going to do of course i wrote it down so i don't trip up on my words here um i was doing uh i was using the great cigars review in the past kind of using their matrix but i've developed my own matrix going forward so here's how i'm going to do it i kind of took it from uh cigar aficionado i know they have a 100 point system which i'm going to be using a 100 point system but i kind of borrowed a little bit from them i know uh shout out to holtz i think i saw online they had kind of their own matrix as well and with the great cigars their matrix um, I'm going to kind of pull from all three and add my own flavor to that uh, so to speak flavor notes um, to kind of develop my own uh, puro sen music uh, Angela um, point system myself so I'm using the 100 points as well so to reach the 100 points we have 25 25 25 25 and let's tell you how we're going to break that down appearance and construction as one clump 25 flavor as 25 um smoking performance as 25 and then um overall impressions 25 but also within that i'm going to tell you appearance and construction i'm breaking that in into both appearance 12.5 construction out of a possible 12.5 so you you get what i'm saying break it down uh flavor i broke down three ways i'll probably touch upon this again once i tell you the flavor notes um 10 10 and 5 overall aroma flavor uh from the draw and i'm giving five for the retro hail uh because some people most most people um actually i don't know if it's half and half or whoever in the cigar community but not everyone does retro hail so there's that so i'm just gave it a five um and then of course um in the smoking performance any touch-ups smoke output this and that and of course overall impressions so let's cut and light all right, so I mean the sniffy sniff right there. It's um, I'm I'm getting raisin right 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 there. So um, look at that. It has a beautiful foot band. Um, Bay City, okay, the Bay City by Lovely Cigars. So let's see. Just so like I said, I'm I'm not misspeaking. Um, this is uh, a Toro, okay, six by fifty two. Um, this is of course a Nicaraguan hand-rolled premium cigar we know that and um, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut binder is Sumatra and the filler is all Nicaraguan fillers so we're going to cut and light I'm using my v-cut of course I'm going to toast the foot All right, so the aroma on this is very pleasant, very beautiful, very plentiful. So let me give you a tiny bit of a backstory. I'll go back and forth with a little bit of the history of Lovely Cigar Company. It's three guys. It's um, Mike, Keith, and Dylan that run the show over there. And what they wanted to do, they knew the market was was inundated. I mean, right? Every company basically has um, a, a Connecticut in their lineup. So what the guys over at um, Lovely Cigars wanted to do was they knew that the uh, Connecticut's were out there and plentiful. Uh, they knew um, they wanted to put out the the um, classic creamy Connecticut, but also with a lot of 
packed with flavor, right? So they, they were like, we're going to get that creamy Connecticut, um, but we're also going to put out a Connecticut that's packed with flavor. And they absolutely did that. And um, I say packed I uh, because um, if you know the history, this is coming out of uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, right? So the, the Green Bay Packers. So that's how I like to kind of remember it. Packed Packers, packed with flavor. But um, they absolutely did hit a home run on that. This, um, the Sumatra binder, you know, it's classically known for those like... Um, cedar notes the pepper notes right so that that's ab- absolutely uh, delivered here as well and um let's do a little retro hail the retro hail for those that don't know it's when you blow it out through your nose you know you're kind of like pushing it out your mouth and your tongue forcing it out through your nose and that's where you're picking up more flavor that way as well um if you could get to that retro hail i i strongly advise it uh for all uh even if you're a novice um i have a video actually up on my youtube of how to retro hail so if you're a novice check it out it takes a little bit of practice but even for the aficionados out there um you know what i'm talking about you get that extra enhanced flavor coming through so, uh, you know, for, for me, I'm on the retro hail, not only is it that, um, you get that, the pepper, but also like a, a cinnamon's coming through and a nice sweetness blend. This actually is perfectly blended. Um, they, I mean, they, they hit a grand slam because the spice, the, that typical cigar spice mixed with that sweetness and creaminess is all just kind of being married together. I saw one of the interviews of them, I think it was with Mike and Keith, you know, because they said they would smoke the cigars and smoke the samples, you know, right, and try to figure out their next new blend, which is this, the Bay City. And they said, no, we just kept sending it back and being like, we have to, you know, it was like that one extra note that was missing and they would send it back to uh, their master blender and this and that and they would send them the cigars from Nicaragua back to uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And they just said, we just, you know, it's, it's great, but we need it to be better. And I think they definitely achieved that. You know, they didn't settle for less and it really shows. And I do want to point out, I do have my lime LaCroix here. I just want to say for those that know me here on the podcast, I have a super palate, right? So all this is doing is kind of clearing my palate in between puffs. It's funny because I, I, you, you know, I've talked about Robert Kelly on here all the time uh he's one of my top five stand-up comedians uh and i i had the pleasure to interview him i'm gonna say it again and again yes i'm gonna i'm gonna blow up my own spot and check him out check me and him out on my youtube channel i was you know so grateful for that but he actually had said um he uses lime Lacroix uh as an in-between palate uh cleanser between puffs so i actually was doing it long before i heard him say that so i just had to you know I have to, I'm going to talk about Robert Kelly probably for my next, you know, few episodes here. I'm going to milk that one uh, for all I can because to me it was like, you know. All right. So as I'm smoking through this, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of this company. Um, Lovely Cigars actually has been a res- resurrected um company from back over 125 years ago they were saying something about like in the 1880s um there was a cigar shop uh by them by you know the, um keith mike and dylan there in uh, green bay that they found i guess in the basement or whatever or in the attic um the old original lovely cigar boxes and all the original artwork and all that and you could check it out online um so what they did was they kind of replicated it on, in their band which is part of my review, the appearance, right? Um, you know, they say you eat first with your eyes, believe it or not, right? So if you, when you go into like a buffet, and I've always said this before, if you like, you know, eggplant, but it's it's in a buffet line or this and that, but you see it and the that for whatever reason that day it wasn't prepared, you know, like it just didn't look right. Um, you look at it, you know to yourself, okay, I love eggplant, but mm, pass today. So, so you see it first. I mean, let's be honest. We know when, um, people tell us, oh, you know, that cigar is a banger, this and that, it tastes great, it smokes great. But if you're in the humidor at your local, uh, cigar lounge and you're looking for something new to smoke and you don't really know, I mean, you could just, you might just rate it you're just looking at it and with your eyes first and you say oh that the i see the wrapper um looks smooth you know is it veiny is it this and that is the band cool so you know to some people that doesn't matter but like i said 
appearance as part of my rating. So their lovely cigar band and the artwork, I give it 100%. Because again, it's been replicated from over 125 years ago. Um, so let's see, let's give a little bit more history here. Owner Keith says it best. We have a story that is good enough to sell cigars, but we also have a cigar that backs up a story. Right, so that's pretty cool. I say well said, because like I said, this has a lot of rich, nostalgic history to it. So let's keep puffing away and, and see what we get. I mean, the the draw on this is open. I mean, you see the smoke output. You know I love the aroma just right here like that. You know, just the burning cigar. Everyone that knows me knows I just love... When I when I love that aroma in and, in and of itself, that's how you know I'm going to love the cigar. Believe it or not, that's one of my go-to kind of litmus tests. So here's what I'm coming up with. This, not only is it so creamy and smooth, right, with the Sumatra... Um, binder mixed with these beautiful Nicaraguan fillers. Um, I'm getting like, um, like I said, the creaminess. It's got some nice coffee notes. It has that beautiful underlining cedar. It's got like underlining earth notes. I mean, it's just when they say they wanted to kind of pack all the flavors together, they weren't kidding because it's just all coming together nicely. Like I said, on the retro hail for me, there's like that hint of cinnamon. I dare say um, raisins coming through as well. And it's just really packing a good all together uh, melding of all the flavors. All right, we're in the second third here, and as I'm smoking this through, you know, I want to get to that final third where it's the marriage of all those. You know what it is, too, at the final third, for those that don't know, because as the cigar warms up, right, and as you're smoking it, they say um, the longer it, it, it takes to warm up and all that, you get like a new, uh, like you discover, you could discover some more flavors in the final third. So let's just let that warm up some more. And um, while it's doing that, I just want to give a little more uh, history here. So believe it or not, in Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin was built, they say it was built on the shoulders of um, growing tobacco and exporting tobacco, which I didn't know until I did a deeper dive into lovely cigars, which that's a pretty cool fact. I mean, in the U.S., right, we know Virginia, Florida, Pennsylvania tobacco, this and that. But now um, to learn about uh, that there was a history there in Wisconsin as well. So Green Bay, for those that don't know, is a port city, right? So it's a place where ships dock or back in the day, you know, the 1800s, um, you know, before airplanes, right? And ships were docking into America and trade of this and that. So when the sailors um, got off the, the ship, they were looking for items like uh, of it, items of need like salt, um, medicine, and even tobacco, right? So in the 1800s, um, the, they, they say that there was about 200 cigar rollers in the Green Bay port city. So when the sailors got off the ship, they were look, you know, they were ready to just that was commerce right there. So they were, they were, there was 200 cigar rollers approximately, uh, given cigars to the sailors. Um, so let's see this and that. Um, that's all I know that they were rolling cigars for the sailors. And that's, that's pretty cool. I love the history of, um, most anything really, but to know the history of, um, like I said, lovely cigar company was, a real company back in the day and uh the guys uh again those three guys shout out to you keith uh mike and dylan they're doing a banger of a job putting out these cigars so uh like i said lovely brand they resurrected it and now we have their other uh stick here the bay city i tell you the creamy nuttiness of this Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. It's just coming through, it's staying through. Uh, like I said, I was getting quite almost an inch of ash. It did, you know, fall off, but that's okay, that's normal. But I know cer certain people, they like to see how long it could go. I think it depends on how quick you're taking a draw. I find that sometimes I have to remind myself to kind of slow down with the draw a little bit. I might have uh, the pull. I might uh, 
pull a little quicker than most. So I, I can't fault that to lovely cigars with the ash. But that, however, still doesn't mean it's a, it's the most perfect cigar. So like I said, the Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, it, uh, the flavors are doing exactly what they're meant to do. And I have like uh, still that hint of cedar, which is really nice and um, really enjoying it. Oh, and this company, they've been in business for about two years. So actually, it's a young company, but they're really making strong headway. I mean, like I said, they just um, were at the PCA in 2024. So they're, you know, they're going to be popping up everywhere at it, at all times. So and, and definitely comment below if you've tried a lovely cigar. What was the other one that we had? Uh, the 162. I think in my other video um, that came in the... Uh, and one of my other podcasts that came in the um, the Luxury Cigar Club put that out. So please comment below if you're part of Luxury Cigar Club, um, if you've had a lovely before, because I think they put one, like I said, and there's some history to that. So check out that video as well, because they call that one the, uh, the 162 after it's like a... Something about, uh, I think, a cigar union. I don't want to misspeak. I can't remember. <laughs> but it, it was. it's about a union, Union 162. So that's another stick that they have. And um, like I said, this is the Bay City. And this is um, hitting the markets right now. So uh, definitely, definitely, please let me know what you think. And um, okay, so I'm in the final third. And it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Um, so from the front to back of the tongue, the whole thing, I mean, this thing is just flavor everywhere. With the retro hail on the final third, I'm kind of getting like even floral notes, right? So there's all the notes. We're going to put them all here. Cedar, we've got cream. We have a little bit even like on that retro hail, back of the tongue, floral. That's that hint of that. Um the earthiness, the cedar. Did I say that already? <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's just packed full of some beautiful flavor. So I wrote down all my experiences. I took notes as I was smoking it just so I don't misspeak. All right. So let's break this down. So like I said, appearance and construction, right? I gave, I, I gave it, uh, I broke it down in half, the 25 and half. So I gave it 12.5 out of 12.5 for appearance. I gave it a 10.5 out of 12.5 for construction. I just said uh, 10.5 out of construction only because um, now, and this is my opinion, and this is just happens to be this particular stick. I know sometimes, you know, you get a box of sticks and maybe um, there's just that one off that, you know, is doing its thing that isn't a hundred percent like the others. That's okay. But in my opinion, it just seemed like the wrapper was a little thin. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's good or bad. It's just, that's my opinion. And also maybe like the way I was, uh, you know, putting my mouth on the, on it, uh, it just seemed like it, the cap was kind of, you know, doing its thing kind of coming off a little bit. So that's just where that number comes from. So it's just an honest rating. So it's just separated a tinge, but, um, so, so overall that we're giving it, um, a 23 out of 25. So now for flavor. At a, a possible 25 points, I gave it, can you guess? 25 out of 25. Of course, overall aroma, I, like I said, I had broke this down, uh, a possible possible 10 points, 10 out of 10. Flavor from the draw, right? Because to me, there's this smoke aroma right now, and then the actual draw flavor in your mouth, um, I gave that a 10 out of 10. And of course, the retro hail out of a possible five, I gave that a five out of five. And moving on to the next category, smoking performance. So for me, I broke that into two things. I had said um, any touch-ups um, out of a possible 12.5, I gave it a nine um, because there was a couple, it was it was canoeing a little bit. Um, I, I that's fine. Again, it doesn't mean anything bad. It's just what I'm rating it just to kind of give it that honest rating. I gave it a nine out of a possible 12.5. Um, so, cause I just, you know, uh, was canoeing a tinge. And like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't really, there's been sticks in the past where I've done reviews where, um, I kind of smoked it and, I didn't really like it at all. I didn't really want to finish it. So to be honest, I, I stay positive and I don't, I didn't post it because I'm not really out here to, um, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not really here to, uh, you know, discredit 
any cigar companies, right? I'm here for the cigar community, right? Because my I have a love, absolute love of cigars. So so nine out of twelve point five, and for the smoke output, I rated it myself eleven, and if a possible twelve point five. So. Overall impressions is my fourth category and out of a possible 25 points. Again, that also deals with the, um, all, you know, every stage of the cigar beginning to end. And again, as I was saying, um, I'm in the final third and I noticed some floral notes coming through too and some beautiful like back of the tongue experience with that as well. So um, that's why I always love uh, the final third. Because again, as I said, as the cigar warms up, you just kind of all, you just marry all of the notes coming through at once. The creamy, the this and that, the cedar, right? The coffee. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful flavor experience. Overall impressions. Um, I'm saying the final third, uh, I'm biased to the final third, 100% out of 100 on that. So I... Um, give that a possible 23 out of 25. So that means, let's see, what's the math? That's 23 plus 25 plus 20 plus 23 gives us a drum drum roll, please. The Bay City from Lovely Cigars from me, Angela, Puros and Music Podcast. I give it a 91. A 91, that is an excellent rating. Will, I, and then also, uh, I had, again, I'm going to bring up Robert Kelly, the awesome comedian. When I got the pleasure to meet him in person, he he, he has, um he, it's, he had it. It was like, you know, the tail end of the uh, pandemic there. He was doing the uh, Two Comics, Two Cigars podcast. So he said um, at the end, he would say, okay, buddy, you know, here's how we're going to rate this. Simple. None, would, would you buy none, one, a five pack or a box? So, right, that's just simple, plain and simple. So what am I going to say? I'm going to say I'm going to buy a box. So this not only gets a 91 points, 91 out of a possible 100 points, but also I give it the stamp of approval, uh, Robert Kelly, um, none, one, five pack or a box. What would you do? What would you buy? I put my money on a box. So again, definitely comment below. Uh, like I said, got to go get your hands on these. Circle back to this video after you smoke it. Comment below and please let me know what you would buy. just want to say thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Thanks again to uh, Mike, Keith, and uh, Dylan. I hope I didn't get your name wrong. I know I was... Uh, chatting with Mike there. And, and uh, again, I will see you next time. Authentically Angela Video Podcast. Thanks for joining.